at Hattiesburg, Mississippi, at the fire department, you had a lieutenant, his name was Shelton Russell. They discovered a noose in his locker. Yes, an actual noose. And he had to step down back in October. Now, originally when they found the noose, he was demoted and suspended without pay over the incident that he didn't consider offensive and said it had been overblown. But his colleagues said, no, it's not overblown. So a brother by the name of Kentavious Reed said it was shocked at first. And he recalled the moment he spotted the rope hanging in Russell's locker. So he said, when asked why it was upsetting, Reed pointed to nooses has been used to hang African Americans. And they're in the state where the most African Americans were terrorized by a noose because the Ku Klux Klan is the oldest domestic terrorist group in America. And he was like, why would he have that in his locker? Now the thing is, they always say they got a high IQ and they know so much better than us, but yet you take a noose, put it in your locker and think nobody's gonna find that. Now, as we talk about this story, you're gonna hear the BS excuses that he's using and thinking people are stupid. So a fellow white engineer by the name of Zeb Medlezet said that he saw the noose and was shocked and disturbed that it was discovered. And he said he always considered a noose a symbol of racial hatred, but Russell didn't feel that way. He said that he brushed aside the racism and explained that for him, a noose was a representation of America's wild West culture. He said he got into it by uh, watching old Westerns after taking a ropes course several years ago. Now I'm in Texas. Rodeos is a thing here in Texas. They do not teach you to form a noose when you try to learn how to rope cattle. Come on, man. That is that I'm pissing on your leg and telling you it's rain. That is dumb. That is so asinine what you said. So he said, Russell said it was a colleague that showed him how to tie a noose. He put the rope in his locker and didn't think of it again. So, okay, you had another white supremacist there with you at the time. So even after they caused controversy on departments, he doesn't understand the nooses, um, racial history and why it's offensive. Neely Fuller said this, the white supremacists always play dumb when it comes to racism. When you bring to their attention, I didn't know that was racist. I didn't know that the news had it. I did. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't know that word was bad. I didn't think blackface, blackface. What is that? I don't know. They, listen, they say that because they, they try to make you seem like you're crazy when they do that. They know the history. They know who did it, when they did it and why they did it. They know because racism, white supremacy is something that was created by Europeans. That is their culture that they created in America. Understand? And anywhere that, at least for my studying and news reporting, anywhere they're located, that's something they created. I didn't, that didn't come from our culture as Africans. Didn't come from us. Tribalism. Yes, we're very tribalistic, but not that, not that at all. So don't be walking around here and, and racism, white supremacy is so important. You pass it down to your children because you can say, okay, it was them back in the day that way. So why we still have people forming nooses today? Because you make sure to pass that down the racialized hatred of the black man and black woman worldwide to your children. So he said that African Americans were hung by it. So were whites. Oh, I thought that it had nothing to do with racial anything. Oh, but you know, all of a sudden the history of it. That's what I'm telling you. Neely Fuller told us that they play dumb. He said, so he said also horse thieves, you know, he said, I'm a cowboy. I'm out in the country. I ride a tractor every day. He said, that's what I go back to cowboys. And that's how it got started in watching a Western. Now, many people took issue with his refusal to see the racial symbolism of the noose. So Deborah Delgado, a city councilwoman, said she was dumbfounded that Russell couldn't understand why the noose was problematic, especially considering Mississippi's history of racial strife. Now, according to the Tuskegee Institute, between 1882 and 1968, a total of 581 people were lynched in that time span, with more than 90% of those people being African-Americans. 
And perhaps the most notable lynching was 1955 with the lynching of 14 year old Emmett Till. And we know they tried to destroy that monument so many times. And you've seen the last time the white supremacists from the League of the South came out to the monument and they filmed them there, an alarm went off and everything. So they do not stop with the evil that they are part of. Now Russell also say that if he knew the news was offensive, he would have took it home quickly. He say, but anything can be offensive. He say, but unless it brought to my attention, which it never was to the fact, then how do I know? Now he said he wasn't aware until photos had got circulated among department employees and he confronted two firefighters who took the photo and they say they were spreading rumors of racism. How are you spreading rumors of racism? They took the picture. You have it in your locker, you fool. It is not rumors. It is evidence. There's no rumor with that. Yeah, they talking about it too. They say, man, we got a freaking full fledged white supremacist in here. 22 years on the job. You mean to tell me you didn't read no company policy at all in 22 years. You mean to tell me you wouldn't, you didn't know that racism and discrimination is wrong. Even in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Yes. I know they got rules against that. So the fire chief, Shereko Stewart demoted the seasoned Lieutenant ordered him to undergo counseling. Russell tried to appeal the punishment only for it to be held by the commission. He would later resign from his post. So he resigned on his own. So I don't know if he took his retirement and went on his merry way. We don't know, but this is the thing. It's quite funny how he didn't know the history. All of a sudden he knew the history. That's what I said. Never allow them to act dumb with you. Brothers and sisters, they know, they know everything about their history. They just don't want you to know it. And that's why they don't teach it to you in school. Now leave me a comment. Let me know thing about the situation in Hattiesburg fire department. That's why they say, you know, I told you those white supremacists are everywhere. They are on the fire department. They in a the grocery store. They can be a paramedic. They just not on the police department. They are everywhere. Trust me on that.